All right. My second favorite game of all time. That's right. This is my second favorite game. My favorite game is Final Fantasy X, of course. Uh, Final Fantasy XII, Zelda Josh as well. Final Fantasy XII, period, <laughs> is actually my second favorite game of all time. Alright, let's see here. This is a Zodiac Justice. As you saw, this is the English version. I, I just uploaded a movie on how to pass this thing over to English. Uh, but there's one change that I need to make to it. Um, you want to try to record, you want to try to burn this thing in uh, times 2 or, or times 2.4. Because if you upload it at like times 8 or higher, then it's not going to come out well. It, it might not play good. The cutscenes the cut are going to skip and so on and so forth. Okay, so. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try to tell you everything I know about this game, try to share everything, I'm gonna try to get like all the weapons, stuff like that, you know, do all the hunts, do all the rare monsters, so on and so forth, I'm, I'm gonna try to do a complete walkthrough here, cause this is my, my second favorite game, so, uh, I will naturally, uh, explain and show all the, well, I, I'm not gonna show them the differences, but I will explain all the, all the major differences, if it, if it's a minor difference, like, you know, a different item and a different chest chest, then I'm not gonna worry about it, but if, if it's something that's really, really important, really helpful then I'll note it okay so alright since this is an LP unfortunately I'm gonna have to show each and every scene cutscene in the game alright and I wanna do that for myself too because this time I'm gonna have to I'm gonna actually pay attention to the damn cutscene because this story has a very 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 confusing plot line okay alright okay rabbit ears okay Alright, so Final Fantasy 12, Zodiac Zod System. Man, I love this game so much. I love this game. Well, while we're uh, watching the cutscene, I guess I'll go ahead and, and explain um, some of the major differences. Um, for starters, um, wait, was it L1 or L2? I forgot. It's one, it's one of the L I haven't played this damn game so long. I'm going to have to get it back on my fingers because I am kind of rusty. Uh, you, you can press the L1 or L2 button to do a su to do a super speed during the game. That's very very helpful when you're farming items and so on and so forth. You will see that soon enough. Um, another favorite is that um, the damage limit has been removed. You're no longer limited to 9,999 per hit. You can do as as actually, I've never seen a limit. And they get married. I'm gonna kill you, Vessel. You stole my girl. Okay. Uh, actually, that's s 10s girl, not mine. Um, my girl's Rico, okay? Uh, I have not seen a damage limit in this game. Like, Final Fantasy X has a 99,999. 13 has 999,999. I have not seen a limit in this game. I've seen 500,000 and beyond, so... It's like this game has no limit to damage, okay? Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. It's got a bad echo in here. I got kind of an echo in here. Let me, let me turn the TV volume down. Okay. Actually, uh, let me shut up now so I can watch the cutscene and pay attention to what the hell is going on here. I will go. And I will go at his side. I hope the quality is perfect, you know. And some minor differences like you know the tonal soul is weaker, you know, some 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 weapons are slightly stronger. Uh, uh the, the side of Taurus is stronger than it was in the original game, you know. Um some some enemies drop different weapons and different items, so on and so forth. Some monsters are stronger, especially those damn dragons in this in this in in the Zatara ruins. We will go we will we'll, we'll go over that later on. Uh Some other differences like um like um different treasure chests give you different items, but you know that's kind of minor, except for a few of them. And you know Yasmas a lot easier this time around because it was reverse last is longer and so on and so forth. But the best thing about this game is the trial mode. The game uh, pits you against uh, the, the, the toughest bosses in the game, and you gotta fight them in a row. And Trial Mode 100 is perhaps the coolest fight in all Final Fantasy, really. I mean, 
That fight is so damn awesome. I love that fight so much. The fortress is lost. We must withdraw. No. The paling still stands. Okay, I understand. I understand this part. So basically, uh, they muscled their way into the kingdom and they kicked y'all ass. Okay, so they just they just killed all y'all. Okay, they won the war. I understand that much. But what the hell goes on after that? <laughs> oh no! Ooh. Oh! Uh oh! Lord Wrestler, you just got married, dude. Come on! Do you have like like body armor or something? Boom. See when I see stuff like this it, it makes me like not want to join the army and stuff like that because you know <laughs> Yeah, this this copy version is, is this copy version is playing perfectly so far. Blessings of the great father to yeah, What a I sad moment here. I mean, you like you like just got married. Great father, guide your spirits Man. Final Fantasy 12. Once again, uh, I'm not limited to 10 minutes, fortunately, so I can make these movies as long as I please, and that's a good thing because some of these cutscenes are pretty damn long. And I'm going to show all of them. Lord Rasla Heos Nebradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the kingdom of Darmaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nebradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon mete out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. Okay, um, I, I'm, I'm not commenting right now because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to the damn story because I am, I am so confused on this plot line here. But I'm confused because of the way they talk. I mean, please, please speak in, in, in modern day style so I can understand what the hell is going on here. Jesus. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Uh. That's another difference. Uh, some of you are gonna get uh, controller tied for a while playing this uh, Zoda Justice because the X button and the circle button was switched around. The circle button is the confirm button now, and the X button is, is the cancel button. So that's gonna get that's gonna be a little confusing for a while. But you, you'll get used to it. You don't have a choice. Attack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful, but against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or, as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca's surrender. Lord Ramanas, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, 
for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. You there. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He <laughs> fights to defend his homeland. <laughs> Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. Those of you who are unfortunately unable to play the uh, international version and, and you're just playing the regular English version and you want to use this as a guideline, I guess you can do that. Uh, I will note important differences. You know, there are only a Thank few of them, but you know, I'm fine, sir. For, for the most part, this is the LP of, uh, of the right. international version, alright? 17, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. Mosler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Okay, so we're going to the king to stop him from signing the treaty. Okay. I know. I know. Really. I mean, I tried to pay attention to, to this uh, plot line when I first played it, but it was so damn confusing. I just said, forget it. I just play the game and do all the fighting. And so this time, I'm gonna actually try to pay attention to see what the hell is going on, cause uh, good example is um. Uh, Keep your wits about you, and you'll make it. Good example is uh, Final Fantasy 7. I was kind of confused at first with Final Fantasy 7, but eventually I, I, I caught on. Final Fantasy 10 was kind of confusing, but at, after I played it so many times, it was it was elementary stuff, really. All right. Now Final Fantasy 13, I just don't understand what the hell is going on there, really. Okay. All right. Uh, basic controls. Uh, analog stick controls your character. No. Uh. Left hand line stick, move around. I mean left I mean right hand line stick, you look around, left hand line stick, you move around. I use inverted controls. That's the way I have to play. I, I press down to look up and I press up to look down. And I press I press right to look left and I press left to look right. That's the way I play because my first 3D game was a Mega Man Legends. And that's the way that game is made, so that's the way I'm used to playing, alright? Uh since this game does have a lot of a uh, dialogue, I'm not I'm not gonna commentate any uh, any written dialogue unless it's a personal favorite. Cause this is gonna be a very, very, very long LP and it doesn't need to be any longer than it's gonna be, alright? But as you can see here, FF Grimmer did a very, very good job at translating this game to English. Very good job, okay. Those of you who are confused about this game's uh, battle system, it's 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 not like the other Final Fantasy game. It's a uh, it's kind of like online play, even though I've never played online games before. But uh, it's 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 gonna seem confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, you will love this battle system. I mean, this is my favorite battle system out of all the Final Fantasy games. I, I love this battle system, especially the fight with Yasmat. Fight Yasmat is really really fun. Okay. Blah blah blah. Okay. Alright, unlike most Final Fantasy games, uh, you can change your equipment in the midst of battle. Come on. Uh, I'm going to change that. Let's see. Here. Personally, oh, come on. I'm, I'm going to show how about Personally, I do not like target lines off because they get in my way. I, I don't like target lines. It's annoying to see all those little red and blue lines on the screen. I don't need them. Okay. Dial speed fast. Let's lessen the speed things up a little bit. Right. Inventory, basic stuff, comfort, just did that status, basic stuff, we'll learn that all that later. 
All right, so it's it's not it's not like Kingdom Hearts, you know. Kingdom Hearts, you 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 press the the attack button and and they react automatically. It's it's still in um time battle mode, but you know it's it's kind of like online play, but you get the hang of it. And I need to uh, change my screen position here. Let's see. That's better, Noxie. All my hit points. Okay. Oh, your first. All right, the game just started. We already got a boss battle. Lovely. Uh, I've never died here, but I think it's possible to die here. So you're gonna have to keep up your health a little bit if you want to. If you want to get by this. Well, I don't know, cause uh, you usually your part of me, your, your, your help here will heal you with high potions and stuff. So. All right, you don't have to. You don't have to kill him. Just uh, just do like have himself and then you'll end the fight automatically. This game might seem a little boring at first, but once you get into it, it's, it's, it's that's kind of fun. All right, cure one. What's different in this game? In this game, cure one. If you ever use the damn thing, anyway, use it, please. There we go. See that? In this game, Cure One heals all part of members. In the original Final Fantasy XII, it only heals, it only heals one person. That's very helpful in early stages of the game since friend starts with Cure. You're gonna be using it a lot, trust me. And boss uses a quickening. Something we don't have at this point in the game. Aunt Leon, this is Tom Berry. I never noticed that before. And I thought Tom was winning this game. I never, I never realized that, that they said Tom Berry at the beginning of the game. But see, I see. I'm paying attention now, so I'm, I'm probably gonna notice stuff that I never noticed before. I never noticed that that they said Tom Berry. It's a real shame that Tom is winning this game. I mean, that would have been a cool hunt, but oh well. Okay. Uh, this first level is very easy. It's just here. To, it's just here for you to get a feel for the game. But you aren't actually you 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 will not get a feel for this game until you actually until you actually get party members and, and get comfortable with uh, you know you using three people. But that's what the game system is for. More on that later. Yeah, I'm gonna try to point out all the differences uh, as they come up. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about him un oh. until I actually get to him. Where are you? What if Captain Ozilus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vosilus laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. <laughs> Men like him don't die in places like this. Is that right? We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to show you that a super speed thing. Yeah, have, have a, it's, a, it's L1. You press L1 and you go super fast. That's very, very helpful for times like this. I need to use it. So I can speed this up. This thing's already 20 minutes long. Alright. Now, if you don't... Uh, you don't want to do this in your first time playing because 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 you're gonna die if you do because you know it's gonna be hard to keep what's going on. I don't recommend doing this until like you know you get familiar with it and you know you know your gamut set up and everything. And you, you know the gamut do all, everything for you. Uh, in this level, uh, what we got here? Potion. In this level, your party members will uh, do most of the work for you, so you 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 really don't have to fight. All you gotta do is just to just lead them to. Uh... Okay, let me slow down because I don't know where hell I'm going right now. Okay. In this level, your party members will do most of the work for you, so you know, just you know, just sit here and let them do it. They even heal you, so you, you don't have to fight. Uh, okay, there we go. We're going uh, this way. Okay. Yeah, this first episode isn't much, you know, but you know, I am gonna show everything in the game. All right, let's save our game. Let's see here. 
I am so glad I can play this game in English. Uh, this is uh, currently my uh, my strongest file. This is the same file I used to defeat all uh, to defeat Charles Stay 100 with an uh, ass by herself. I have that movie. You might want to check it out. All right. Personally, we are going to save this thing on the last one. I'll save it on file 17. All right. That make it easy for me to you know remember which one it is. Okay. All right. All right, going up here. Um, those same crystals, uh, as you saw, they um, they, they still hit points and your magic points to full health. So it's always a welcome addition to see one of those. Intruders! Don't let them escape. There's no escape, sir. We have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Fight well. Fight well! Basically, a test to see how, how well you've learned the system. Let me slow it down a little bit so I don't die. This reminds me, I, I said wait modes for images, but uh, th that trial mode, I haven't been able to pass that without wait mode, so I guess that makes me an amateur. But that shit's hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard. It's hard as hell. Die! Alright. And that was unfortunately Rex's very, very last fight there. Alright, so let's go to the king before he signs the treaty. Uh, where the hell am I going? Okay. What the? Okay, if you get lost, uh, just uh, do this and look at the map. Press, press the select button. See that X right there? That'll usually tell you where to go. So, uh, I haven't played this game in so damn long. Here we go, okay. I have not played Final Fantasy XII in a long time. Um, I occasionally go back to it to do a Yasmet fight so I get it back on my fingers, but for the most part, I haven't played this game in a long time. It's going to have to come back to me, and it will. Don't worry. Alright, and we are just about coming to the end of this uh, first boring episode. You know, this this is just the first level. The first level is always boring in any Final Fantasy game, but that's okay. Alright, so let's watch the cutscene. I'll see you guys on this episode. Alright, take it easy. intended all along to sell Damasca to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. Captain, I... Seize the insurgent. Hello! <laughs> well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty. Out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the captain away. <laughs> Off you go.
pretenses of peace left by the wayside, Adian forces resumed their advance toward Rabanasta. Dalmaska's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I, to the people of Dalmaska, Sons and daughters of Dalmaska, I bid you lay down your arms. Raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminos, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer too for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanos, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow.